I got one good question for you. Maybe a few questions, but did your accounts come back verified or they sent you a stall letter saying, hey, they can't verify your identity or one account came off your credit report, but the other two, they just playing. The credit bros are just playing with you. Don't worry. I got you. I'm going to show you how to slap them credit bros up. So that being said, you already know what time it is. Let's get right into it. What's up, family? I'm back with another one. Hey, if you're new to the channel, welcome to the family. So in today's class, we're going to be talking about what you should do if your accounts come back verified. If the investigation came back and some of the accounts got removed, but not all of them, we're going to be talking about what you should do and how to respond back to the credit bureaus. I'm going to show you how to use the CFPB, show you how to use the BVB, show you how to use the attorney generals, show you what process you should be doing. If they send a stall letter out saying that, hey, I can't verify your identity, we're going to talk about everything. I'm basically going to be breaking down everything you need to know so we can, you know, mm, knock out the credit bills one time. But remember, I just want you to remember, this is a process, right? It might not happen on the first month. It might not happen on the second, third, fourth, fifth, sixth, seventh month, right? But if you continue putting in the work, <laughs> hey, the work works. That's the only thing I can say. I can't guarantee things on the, you know, on the channel, but what I do, what I can guarantee if you put in the work, something's going to happen. So let's put in the work and I'm going to show you what to do. So with that being said, go grab a pen, go get some paper and you know, you got to get you something to drink. Of. Woo! Hey, this is going to be a good one. All right. Welcome to today's lesson. Hey, you know, I told you we back at it again. So from the previous video, the last yesterday's training, we talked about the cycle on how to get started, what you need to be doing, how to build your credit up. If you're trying to get a house, if you're trying to get a um, car, if you're trying to get funded, how to properly build up your credit profile, right? So most importantly, um, sending the, now all that process from like round, I mean, from step one to step six should have taken you like no more than a week um, to get everything done, especially if you battle with this, the credit bills to get your personal information off. But most importantly, send this letter off, right? I want you to send this secret. We call it the secret letter, but it's the investigation, right? Once you send this letter off, it takes, um, you want to wait 30 days, right? And the reason why you want to wait 30 days is because you want to wait for the investigation to come back. Now, once the investigation comes back, this is when it gets started, right? Now, if the account comes back verified, don't go crying, saying the process don't work. Don't go saying it, it's not happening. It don't work for me. People, other people get getting results. Why this, right? The investigation is strictly to tell them to check everything and make sure it's accurate. If it's not deleted, if it is, all right, you say it's accurate, but I already know it's not accurate. So, um, and we know they're not doing uh, the right investigation, right? They're not doing the investigation correct according to the Fair Credit Reporting Act, which is the law. Um, where's my book? Oh, it's over there. So they're not doing the proper investigation according to the law, and that's where you have them. Like that's why we wait the thirty days because we want the official documents to come back saying they did a proper investigation. Everything's one hundred percent accurate. Everything's uh, verifiable. Everything's good to go, and we know that they lie. And this is the reason why um, you want to wait for the investigation to come back. Now, once it comes back and its account come back verified, now, this might take a month. It might take two months. It might take three months. It might take four months. It might take a year. It might take two years. Um, I can't tell you how long it's going to take, but most importantly, time is going to pass whether you send the letter off or not. So you might as well go ahead and send it. Right, Mike? Yes, sir. Uh, <laughs> so what, what happens is... Um... <clears throat> The credit bureaus don't do a proper investigation when they do the investigation. Everything goes through an optical reader scanner, pretty much. Um, what it does, it, it, it allows the credit bureaus to talk to um, a creditor, a collection agency, or anybody who has any involvement with that account, even the secondary agencies, the ones we tell you to freeze. All right. So what happens is once they go through that, once it goes through that process, they don't do an investigation. What it happens is um, the credit bureaus get notified. They'll notify the lender or whatever. They'll, they'll type in a code. Let's just say it's uh, control F. 
Control F means control factual. Hey, it's factual. <laughs> so they don't do that, which is not a proper investigation on your account. So what happens is even if your accounts come back verified, when you send out a secret letter, the number one reason, the number one reason we send it out is because of the language that's in the letter. It makes it, it makes the credit bureaus liable for the way they investigate, right? We know they're going to investigate by using this whatever system it is. Let's not even, I don't want to confuse nobody. So let's just say it's an automated system, right? You send a letter in, it automated, it automatically generates a result. Some companies are smart enough to remove your items, but a, a couple companies, hey, look, it's their last leg in business. It's a recession. They're trying to get all their coins. So they're going to try to fight tooth and nail. That's why me and Dave tell you not to give up. And the reason why we coined the different phrases, knockout letter, secret letter, secret letter is just an investigation. But according to the law, before anything was put on your credit report anyway, was already supposed to be investigated by the credit bureaus before they actually gave the not gave the information over, right? So let's say I got an auto loan. The credit bureaus are going to report that information, but they were supposed to make sure it was fair and accurate before they put it on your credit report in the first place. Mm -hmm. So by definition, they didn't do an inv accurate investigation from the time they put that stuff on your credit report. Me and Dave know this. All we're trying to do is make break it down, make it simple so you understand this, so you understand your power. So we're giving you the letters. We're giving you the laws. Hey, you don't have to take the letters. You can go back to previous videos and watch. But from the results we're getting, all this free information, hey, you just need to try it. All right. If you do need to purchase a letter and can't grasp the information, I understand completely because I needed to purchase some letters. I actually had to go to Dave like, hey, bro, I don't know what I'm talking about when I'm doing this. He was like, yeah, you do. It's this law right here. And I'm like, well, what does it mean, though? You know what I'm saying? So I read, well, I understand on a third grade reading level, right? I have to read things like six times before I grasp it. But when I grasp it, hey, I'm telling everybody like, hey, bro, this is what it's supposed to be. This is how it's done. So the law was broken the moment they furnished inaccurate information on your credit report. Now we can get into deeper detail and say the law was broken when they put anything on your credit report without your written consent. But let's not go that far yet. We actually want to follow the seven step process. And they don't know if I went off too much, but. Nah, you good, man. I just want them <laughs> to understand, right? So get this clear, right? If the accounts come back verified, it's okay. What you're going to do um, next is the next steps, right? Are you going to quit on your dreams or are you going to go forward and knock them out? Now, it might take time to hit them, hit them, hit them, but everybody can't be Mike Tyson and knock them out in the first round. So. Yeah, I mean, to be honest, man, you can quit on your dreams if you want to. Woo. I won't. Uh, so what we what we decided to do was create a YouTube video every day. You know what I'm saying? They, they, they've stuck to it. So I just want to come on here and share some information, too. But, so this is. Like there's, this is your best friend. Um, the BBB is going to be your best friend. And last but not least, the attorney general. Your attorney general. Your, oh. state, your state's yeah, attorney. Your state attorney general, right? So, oops. So, these going to be your best friends when it comes to... Um, Yeah, Texas. Okay. Like, we can do many states, right? Florida, Jacksonville, whatever you want to do, we can do whatever, right? But it's going to be up to you to put in this process. Now, once the accounts come back verified, um, I'm not telling you to purchase the speed playbook, but it's going to be easier. But you're just, quote unquote, comparing from what happened last month to what happened this month and showing that they didn't do a proper investigation, right? And you just stating all the laws that they violated. So one, um, which is they didn't give written, you didn't give written permission. Two, they didn't do an affair investigation. And three, um, everything wasn't 100% accurate and you must delete it. Now you can't modify it, right? So they already said everything is 100% accurate. So there's like, there's multiple laws. We can go four or five laws, right? Probably like six or probably like 10 laws. 
However, you just want to state all the laws that they violated. And if they did it, so for the CFPB, it all depends on what happens next. Now, I see y'all questions saying, what if it's just one account, right? Um, that's on your credit report and you can't compare it to the O3. That's okay, because they still didn't do an investigation on that one account. Um, if it comes off on one, it has to come off on all three, according to the law. So it's just putting things in place, what direction you need to go to to get things removed. So if the account come back verified, um, what you should do next? Or if the account if they did send an investigation or the result in 30 days, how you should go about it, right? So there are two different actions that you can go about this, right? Now, we can talk a little bit about if the account comes back, well, if the account, if the investigation don't come back at all, you should take this route. If the account comes back verified, you should take this route, right? So there's like two different directions or a stall letter, right? Saying that, oh, I can't verify your information. Now, this is important. When you send a secret letter off, make sure you take a picture, a color picture. All right, don't be cheap, black and white. All right, get the picture in color. Make sure they see your ID, um, ID. See if you can blow it up. Go to Office Depot if you already have a printer, blow it up and take a clear picture so they can see or take a picture, send it to your email and print it off, right? We don't want to wait another 30 to 45 days. Yes, we have the time, but our time is valuable. We don't got time to wait. So most importantly, you want to do, we're going to talk about the, if it comes back verified. I'm going to show you where to go if it doesn't, um, if they don't actually send you an investigation or they take longer than 30 days. If they take longer than 30 days, then it's quote unquote supposed to be automatically deleted. Now, we know they're not going to delete it, right? So this is why you want to use the CFPB. And this is why you want to use Attorney General. This is why you want to use the BBB. Now, it might not happen on the second round. Don't quit. Sheesh. Go ahead, Mike. I know you probably want to talk, but I'm about to go show uh, Yeah, that's Just, pretty much it, man. It's, it's two routes. Well, it's more than two. I'm going to tell y'all some of the stall letters that they send. They send the, we can't um, verify your identity, which I will- you see my screen? Yeah, I see your screen. Okay. And um, they send the, a- do you have a credit repair company fixing it for you? Because you can do it yourself. That's another stall letter. And then what's the last one, Dave? Was information, credit repair company doing it. And they might not even respond. Those, those are not bad. So what you want to do then is you still want to come here because th these are the people who protect you. You know what I'm saying? Consumer financial protection. So don't give up. And um, I, I want to say, like, if you are having a tough time, Please watch some more videos. Please watch some more videos because you might actually find the answer that you're looking for. I think the most confused people are the people who are trying to get the results after maybe watching five videos. You can get the results after five videos, but it's not typical. Um, I know we share videos where people are getting results in two days. Some people are getting results in, you know, three months. You know, um, it's all dependent upon um, how how your Go ahead, my man. So I was gonna say when they find a violation. Or... Yeah. So I mean, um, don't compare your process to somebody else's process. I know we got you guys in the Facebook group. If you're in the free Facebook group, we're not gonna be in there too much. We'll get to it when we get to it. So it's a lot of unanswered, unanswered questions. So if you want to find out how to get into the Facebook group where me and Dave are active in, just reach out to our team. Um, Dave. Uh, also, if you want to reach out to us, use the number that's in the description. Don't use anybody else's number. Um, you're going to be able to contact our team. We're saying it right here. You see me and Dave right here, so you know it's us, all right? If you get a number or email for somebody else, hey, look, we, we're not responsible for that. Um, yep, there's a lot of people that got a fake Gmail. We don't use Gmail. We use a real business email, right? So Dave at the credit, Dave at the credit team org, Michael at the credit team org, client services at the credit team org. We're not scamming. We're not spamming. We're not trying to all get you. So somebody else might try to get you to sell. We're not real business, real transactions, right? Don't, don't sell us. <laughs> yeah. We're don't not sell us. Don't no cash help us. You know, yeah. those things. That's, that's, that's somebody trying to take your money. Because um, if you sell and cash out, you can't do what? 
You can't get um, <laughs> you can't get your money back. You can't charge back. All right. So, what is the complaint? So, depending on what you have going on, you want to go ahead and click on um, credit reporting, right? And then click on um, credit reporting, and then most importantly, my bad for it's going too slow. So, it depends on how you want to go about it, right? So, incorrect information on your credit report improper use of your credit report, problem with the credit report and company investigation into an existing problem, right? So see this right here, if it takes more than 30 days or that's one way you can get them and you can write a complaint about that and write a whole dispute on how they violate your, your laws and you can get that account removed, right? Especially since you're going to certify the secret letter and say they're going to basically show that it took more than 30 days wasn't notified of the investigation or results. Another um, law they violated. The investigation did not fix the error on your credit report. So this is basically when the accounts come back verified, you will use this, um, this, right? Because the investigation, it didn't fix it, right? You told them to delete it. They didn't delete it. So we use this. Um, their proper use, Improper use of your credit report is when you want to show them how they violated your rights. What I mean by that is Mike talked about not having written permission. What are they supposed to do um, a fair and accurate investigation before they put anything in your credit report or put anything. So you want to use that as well. So it just all depends. And you'll click on reporting company, use your report improperly, right? So it's just different ways to um, get things removed. But in the meantime, we're going to have a process, right? So if your accounts come back verified, here's what you need to do. Pay attention, right? Problem. We talked about problem. And then the investigation did not fix the error, right? I already tried to fix this problem. So you sh you're going to need a knockout letter. I'm going <laughs> to be honest with you, right? Because I'm not going to show you how to, you know, it's not fair to the other people that already paid for it. So create a letter stating that they violate your laws, they violate your rights, and send it off to the CFPB. I mean, send it off to the expanded transunion Equifax, right? Now, you also want to send a um, CFPB complaint on what they did wrong as well. Take that letter and then click on well, you'll see what I'm talking about. Ooh, good thing taken. All right, so you're going to basically state what happened, right? What happened, what you did, how did it, how to, uh, what happened. So everybody's going to be different. This is the reason why things can't come back, like, automatically verified because your story is different from the next person's story, different from the next person's story. So you're going to basically state what happened. When you said, I sent the letter off on this date, Here's my tracking number. Um, I told them to investigate my account and they didn't investigate my account. Um, what well, they said they investigated, but according to the law, uh, they didn't do the proper investigation. Bam. And then your fair resolution, delete, and then you'll have the attachment. And then once you go on next, all they do on this, who you want to send it to, you're going to send it to Experian, TransUnion, Equifax, or if it's just Experian, or if it's just echo facts, that's how you want to do it. Hey, now, can, we, can we go into that to actually show them? Because I Brad, we don't need no confusion. <laughs> okay. Or do they already got they got your information in there or something that you don't want to show? Oh, uh, what happened? Oh, let me see what happened. Let's just type some of this. Invest. All right. Delete. Oh, uh, so hold on. Man. Click on next. All right. So you got to see if they got your information in there. Okay, no. So company name is going to have the information on the last one because you should already had to create a profile. So Experian. And then you're going to look for Experian Information Solutions. Last four, date of birth, name as it appears, right? You know, you put all that information there. Then you want to say yes. Now, if you have... If it's more than one, then of course you want to put all three. If it's only one or two, then you just put the one. So 
You can do the same thing, experience, and then you're gonna look for TransUnion. And then you will look for, um, let's see. Here, TransUnion, that one right there. And then click on yes. Because you already sent your letters out. Yeah, you already try to fix this problem. Put your social date of birth, right? Name as it pairs on your credit report. Put your name as it pairs on your credit report. Say that again. Oh, um, you don't want to say they couldn't verify who you are. All right, so yes. And then the last one is Equifax. Oops. Equifax Information Services LLC. I have tried to fix this problem. Last for date of birth, name as it appears. All right, so this is all the technical part, right? All technical parts of what you need to do. So this is round two. Now, once you send this off, you're going to do the same exact thing for the attorney general's office, right? Once you click on next, it's going to basically have your per, uh, personal information brought up already. And you just click on submit and it's going to send you um, the tracking number or you should be able to log in and track your tracking number. All right. For experience, TransUnion, Equifax, uh, you got to wait 15 days for them to respond back. Now, the next thing you want to do is attorney general. Now, mine's a little bit. It's right there to the point. Consumer complaint. Now, it's going to be a little bit different because you can't just uh, do TransUnion, Experian, Equifax, right? You have to do one for just TransUnion, one for just Experian. Long for just Equifax. Now, you're going to have three separate complaints. It's going to take time, but like I said, you have 30 days. You have 30 days to respond back. So don't wait your whole 30 days because you need to wait another 30 days for them to see what happened back. So within that seven-day period, you need to be doing this complaint. So you did your CFPB, wait another day, do your um, attorney general's uh, complaint. Just gonna do the same thing, tell them what happened, describe the issue and everything. Um, and that's pretty much it. And then you're gonna do one for expand, treasury, and echo facts. You're gonna grab the information, find it. And then next, what you're gonna do is same thing, BBB. Um same exact thing. Um, yeah, hold on. <laughs> yeah, you're gonna do the same exact thing after you do the BBB. Um, now you're just waiting. It's all whew, the waiting games feel forever. All right, <laughs> so round two, you send the KO letter off. Now, based off of the results that came back, it's, you're kind of doing the same thing, you're just repeating the process of what they said based off the investigation that came back. So based off the investigation that came back, some things might come off, some things um, will stay on, and you just repeat the process over and over and over until everything comes off. And once everything is cleaned up, then and then where you'll be able to apply for a credit card, a nice credit card, and then you'll be good. You should already have built up your credit profile up within that time period, and you should be good. You got any last, you got any last things, Mike? Uh, <clears throat> yeah, yeah. So while you're going through the disputing process, like Dave said, write down your goals. Write down your goals. Keep yourself kind of occupied with the, with the whole process, because I, I know a lot of people want to kind of rush it. But if you sit in it and you realize that you're about to change your life pretty much, uh, I believe that you won't mess it up again. Um, with me and Dave knowing these laws, we kind of, I ain't going to say, um, we kind of took it for granted that we can fix our credit at any time. So we miss, out, we miss out on a lot of opportunities. Now, me and Dave, we want to get into real estate and other stuff like that. So in the process of us like running our company and stuff, we kept messing up our credit. And we miss out on a bunch of opportunities. I don't want you guys to miss out on these opportunities. So 
watch the other videos as well. And, you know, write down your goals, your dreams. The end of mind is very important when doing this process. Hey, look, no days off. Write that down. Get the book made, whatever. A lot of you, a lot of a lot of you guys are reaching out to us and we read y'all stories. We read y'all stories when y'all write back on that email. Some people are, you know, single mother of two who, you know, want to get back on track because what we were taught was your credit score dictates um, your financial responsibility. Now, sometimes, I mean, I used to believe that, but then what I realized was it was an unfair game being played. They can easily teach us the bare minimum of credit in high school, but no, they won't teach us this because they already know that it's, I mean, it's, it's really a game being played. And I'm, for one, I'm excited to be able to, to talk to you guys on a daily basis about, you know, your power that you have, especially with the credit bureaus. I'm, I don't even like to call them credit bureaus no more. There's only one bureau and that's the Consumer Financial Protection Bureau. Right. That's the only government agency that that is a bureau. The rest of them are just privately owned companies who are selling your information without your consent. <laughs> I don't want to kind of get too deep into it. But once you learn these methods from me and Dave or whoever you learn from, um, have a plan and action of what to do next. Um, if you are having trouble, reach out. If you need assistance, reach out. I know we can't speak to everybody. I, hey, look, these videos be getting 100,000 views. We cannot reach out to everybody, but as long as we reach one, we reach one, teach one, we're going to reach a million, teach a million. All right? Don't give up because the work works. If you don't put in the work, you're not going to get your desired results and you're not going to know what to do next because you don't know what happened. So let's say like this. Um, once you get in your car <clears throat> and you put on your GPS, you have to put the directions in. And when you put the directions in, it'll tell you where to go, but it won't go until you press start. All right? Some of you guys skip that and just go straight to start. That thing like, take a left. But once you put the direction in, which is going to be your letters, everything we taught, once you send that letter off, they're going to give you your next direction of what to do. The credit bureaus are literally giving you all the ammunition you need to get your desired results. Whether that's not responding to you, go to CFPB. You'll see it'll say, it'll say, did not respond to me within 30 days. They're literally telling you, they're going to tell you exactly what to do. Or if they did verify you, everything came back verified, they got a selection for that. I would say um, CFPB is one of the most powerful things. Um, they're going to take care of you as long as you go in the program and you actually read the little bullets and you have your exhibits and you follow the process. Hey, Dave, I'm done. I'm off my soapbox.